Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Rob. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the Dimension Expander from X for Records. This is it right here. I don't know why the lettering is not showing up here. Anyways, the Dimension Expander is kind of like a chorus, basically. It's a four voice chorus. And in the description, it says that two of the voices are set out of phase with each other. And so it's, it sounds a little bit different than a regular chorus. And the way, I'm just going to show you how I use it real quick. And you can get it from X for Records Freeware, or you can go to Splice and, and just download it there. So anyways, let me just, I got this little idea that I threw together to demonstrate it. So let me just play it for you. Okay, so uh, the first part that I want to demonstrate is the top bass. It sounds like this. And it has a dimension expander on it. It's this one that's showing. And I'll play it without. Now with. Now I also have a center on there, which kind of turned, turns down the middle. Let me A and B that for you. So all I'm doing there is kind of thinning the sound out in the middle. As you can see, I'm turning down the center, leaving the sides where they're at, which is one technique. It's not really the subject of this video, but okay. And then let's see, I have this right here. Now this is kind of like a hat pattern. If I turn the dimension expander on and off, it doesn't really do a whole lot because there's a lot of stereo information in this sample to begin with. But there are others here. Just kind of widens it out a little bit. But where, it really, where, where it really makes a difference is on this one. I think this, yeah, the open hat. Now I can use the sample delay, which is kind of like a, you delay one side of the stereo path and you get the Haas effect. I've shown that in another video of mine. So let me A, B, the sample delay. And I think the Dimension Expander sounds more robust because it has four lines instead of just the two stereo lines. And it's a little bit more going under the hood. So it makes it sound super wide, the sample delay, which is stock with Logic. The Dimension Expander makes it sound a little bit more, to, in my opinion, more natural. And the way I do it, I, I just take the size all the way down and then turn the dry wet all the way up. Now, if I turn the size up, I'll turn the size up so you can really hear what it's doing. And that's basically all it is. Now, let me turn the dry wet down. So you can blend in a little bit of the wide with the right down the middle. And I'm just going to turn it all the way back up. And then this hat I'm not using. Let's see, what is this? Oh yeah, I'm using that. And then I have a the claps I didn't use it on. Then I've got this part down here with the dimension expander. Let me turn rid of this. 
and turn the digits off. So what it does is it will, if you use it this way, turn the size all the way down and the wet all the way up, it'll spread your sound way out and then you can modify it from there. You can narrow it back down. So you have the all the way wide control and you can just narrow it back down with say a uh, imaging, they call it a directional mixer and you can take it and narrow it back down. And you could pan it. So there's all sorts of things you can do. So anyways, that's what I've got today. And if you want to check it out, just go to Splice. Let me pull that up for you. And there you go right there. Go to the Splice website and download it for free. Dimension Expander. It's from X for Records. Same guy who owns the Serum Soth Synth. And that's all I have today. Thank you very much for watching.